ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and talk about factoring the sum or difference of cubes. And let's just jump in and do this problem right here, right? So, and this one's really tricky. Look, here's the deal. First thing you got to do is identify, is it a sum or a difference? This is a difference because it's subtraction. And here's how the, the formula works. If you have the difference of cubes, well, that's going to be a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. That's our formula right there. So all we need to do for this is figure out what are A and B. Say that's all we got to do. That's the tricky part, right? So look, what cubed, see, to figure out A, you have to figure out what cubed is this whole term. Because this whole term right here, there's something cubed that equals that, right? And that's what A is. So you could think of it as taking the cube root of the whole thing. So you could say, oh, well, 27x to the ninth y cubed, you could do it that way, or you could just say, you could just do it a little simpler, you could say, well, wait a minute, uh, that's 3, um, that's x to the 3rd, because if I cube x to the 3rd, that's x to the ninth, and that's y. So there's a right there. You could do it this way, you get the same answer, you could just think about it, whatever. If you know your cubes, you're good to go. Now, b, well, 2, x squared, y squared, because when you, t when you take x squared and you cubed it, you get x to the sixth, right? Now let's talk about the sign. It's true that if you take negative eight and you cube it, you take the cube root, sorry, you get negative two. But here's the thing. This is a cubed minus, and this is b cubed, right? So we're gonna consider this number as positive and, this, and the negative sign as being an operation right there, okay? All right, now, <clears throat> Good, good. All right, so now we just got to plug these values in here. We're going to have to use parentheses, right? So uh, here's what we got. We got we got a, which is 3x cubed y, minus b, which is 2x squared y squared. And then a squared, well, we got to use parentheses right here because we're going to mess it up if we don't. You see? Take it and square it, the whole thing. Yeah, square the whole thing. Now, plus a, b, I'm afraid I'm going to run out of room over here. So I'm going to go ahead and... Well, let's go ahead and do this in our head right here. So A, B, uh, that's 3 times 2, which is 6, yeah? And then X cubed times X to the square is X to the power of 5. Because when you're multiplying two things together, same base, exponents, you have the exponents. Same reason why we're going to have Y to the third there. Now, let's see, last thing we have to square, we have to square this. So I'm going to go ahead and write 2X squared, Y squared, squared. Man. Saved it, yes, made it fit. <laughs> all right, so uh, all we gotta do now to simplify this is is just square these two things right here, and we're done. So here's what we got. We've got 27x to the ninth y cubed minus 8x to the sixth y to the sixth is gonna be equal to this, all right? And then, let's see, nine x to the sixth y squared. Let's make sure we got that right. See, this is a 3x cubed y. When we square 3, you get 9. When you square 3, you get 9. When you square x cubed, you get x to the 6th. And when you square um, y, you get y squared. This part stays the same. We already did that a minute ago. And now this part. 2 squared is 4. x to the 4th, y to the 4th. And we're done. Right there. Boom, we're done. Fancy schmancy. Hope this is helpful. If so, give it a like. Maybe share it on social media. Check out my website, thebeardedmathman.com. There's all kinds of great stuff on there, at least in my opinion, because I made it all. Hope this has been helpful. You guys have a good day.